Hi, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastrikal, Salam, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to wish everybody who celebrates Eid Mubarak a happy Eid Mubarak. Um, we also have this lovely tweet from uh, Prime Minister Modi that is greetings on Eid al Adia. May this day inspire us to create a just, harmonious, and inclusive society. May the spirit of brotherhood and compassion be furthered. And this is how we think of India, secular and, um, you know, not everybody gets along or agrees all the time, but if country comes first, um, that's really what matters. And yeah. your religion um, needs to stay in your home. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, you don't always have to agree on. But we would like to wish everybody that celebrates a happy Eid Mubarak. And we are excited to do this video that comes from a young Kashmir woman that lives in Jimon Kashmir. And she talks about what positive things had happened after removal of Article 370. And we've talked here on the channel last year when they first removed it, how that was going to be better for India, how that was going to be better for Jammu Kashmir. And we know not everybody agreed, but making it part of the country, making them accountable, um, it, it was something that needed to be done, making yeah. it so people could go in and out and buy property in and out. It's a beautiful place. We've seen many, many pictures and videos on it. It's beautiful mountain ranges. Um, you know, there's so many good things that could come out of there. And we know there's a lot of turmoil with Pakistan bordering it um, and trying to take over it over and over again. Um, but we're excited to do this video from Yana Manir, who is a young Muslim woman living in German Kashmir, and she talks about all the positive things um, that have been going on and stuff that they're planning to do. So we are really excited to show this video. And if you haven't heard her speak before, she's been on the news, it seems like, and we've checked out her website. Um, she only has 14,000 subscribers. She is one of those people that we would love to promote and we would like yeah. you to check out her videos because she speaks the truth um, and she has a lot to say. So we're excited. Are you ready? Yep. Assalamu alaikum. Askal shu aswa chan TV debate is mas ke ko shu luk cha yuvan te vanan ke government os kormut board promises article 370 remove kare te man promise in kya go. To aaj me unhi sawalu ka jawab de ne aai hun ke article 370 hatane ke baad government ne kya 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 hai. تو کیا ہوا ہے آرٹیکل 370 ہٹانے کے بعد پہلی بات تو یہ ہوئی ہے کہ جو لوگ آزادی کی جھوٹی کہانی سنا سنا کر اپنی دکان چلاتے تھے اور ہمارے کشمیری نوجوانوں کو ملٹنسی جوائن کرنے کے لیے برین واش کرتے تھے آج ان کی دکانیں بند ہو گئی ہیں جیسے کہ آپ جانتے ہیں سید علی شاہ گلانی صاحب نے ریزگنیشن دے دیا ہے حوریت سے اس کے علاوہ جو ڈیویلپمنٹ کی بات ہو رہی ہے تو ڈیویلپمنٹ آرٹیکل 370 ہٹانے سے یہ ہوا ہے کہ اب سینٹر سے ایک ایک پیسہ جو کشمیر میں آتا ہے اس ایک ایک پیسے کا حساب دیا جاتا ہے پبلک کو بھی عوام کو بھی اور گورنمنٹ کو بھی حساب دیا جاتا ہے تو اب ڈیولپمنٹ کے نام پہ کیا کیا کام شروع ہوئے ہیں کیا کیا کام آلریڈی چل رہے ہیں میں نے سوچا کہ آپ تک میں یہ پیغام پہنچاؤں تو میں آپ کو بتا دوں کہ تین دن پہلے ہی 48 پروجیکٹس لانچ ہوئے ہیں جمہو کشمیر کی گورنمنٹ نے لانچ کیے ہیں الجی مرمو صاحب نے ای لانچ کیا ہے جن کا کاؤسٹ ہے کچھ دیڑھ سو کروڑ اور اس کے علاوہ چھے ڈسٹرکٹ میں اکیز میگا پروجیکٹ لانچ ہوئے ہیں جن کا کاؤسٹ ہے دو سو نبے کروڑ اور ان کی بنیاد مطلب ان کی فاؤنڈیشن آلڈی رکھ دی گئی ہے تو بتا دوں آپ کو کہ 48 جو میں نے کہے تھے 48 پروجیکٹس وہ کون سے ہیں اس میں آتے ہیں 8 بریجز پانچ سکول دو کالج تین ریسیونگ سٹیشن پانچ ہسپٹل چار ہسٹل نو وارٹر سپلائی سکیمز اور سات بلڈنگز اس کے علاوہ جو اکیس میگا پروجیکٹس کی میں نے بات کی تھی وہ ہے پچاس بیڈ کا آئیوش ہسپٹل کپوارا میں دو ہسپٹل کلگام اور سوپور میں دو ٹرانزٹ اکومیڈیشن شوپین اور کپوارا میں پانچ روڈ پروجیکٹس دو وارٹر سپلائی سکیمز ایک بارہ میگا وارٹ کا ہائیڈرو الیکٹرک پروجیکٹ دو کالجز چار بلڈنگ ایک انڈو سٹیڈیم اور بارڈر ایریاز میں کمیونٹی بنکرس اس کے علاوہ جو کام آلریڈی چل رہے ہیں 
جیسے زے مور زیڈ مور ٹنل جو ہے اس کا کمپلیشن ہے جون 2021 میں اس کے علاوہ زوجیلا پاس جو ہے جس کا کمپلیشن ہے 2026 میں یہ دونوں سون مارگ اور لداخ کو سال بھر کی کنیکٹیوٹی دیں گے اس کے علاوہ جو کام جن کی کمپلیشن اسی سال ہونے والے تھے مگر شاید تھوڑا ڈیلے ہو جائیں گے پینڈیمک کی وجہ سے وہ ہے 356 ہنڈریڈ ففٹی سکس کلو میٹر کی جموں بارہ ملہ ریلوے ایکسپریس ٹریک جس کی جو فیروز پور ڈویژن کے دوارا اپنے انڈین ریلویز کے نارتھن زون سے کنیکٹیوٹی کر دے گا کشمیر کی اس کے علاوہ ہے چیناب برج پروجیکٹ نائن ہنڈریڈ سیونٹی فور کروڑ کا جو چل رہا ہے اس کے علاوہ ہے آنجی کھاڑ برج پروجیکٹ سیون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فورٹی فائیو کروڑ کا تو اتنے سارے ڈیولپمنٹ پروجیکٹس جب چل رہے ہیں جموں کشمیر میں ظاہر سی بات ہے کہ ان کو لوگوں کی ضرورت پڑے گی اسکل اور ٹیلنٹ کی ضرورت پڑے گی لیبر کی ضرورت پڑے گی اکاؤنٹنٹس کی ضرورت پڑے گی انجینئرس کی ضرورت پڑے گی تو ہمارے یہاں جابس ہی جابس ہونے والے ہیں تو آپ پلیز بھڑکاؤ لوگوں کی باتوں میں آ کے بہکنا بہکنا چھوڑ دیجیے اور اب آپ بس دعا کیجیے کہ یہ پینڈیمک جلد سے جلد ختم ہو جائے پھر آپ اور جب تک یہ پینڈیمک چل رہا ہے آپ آن لائن کلاسز لیجیے اپنے اسکلس کو ڈیولپ کیجیے اپنے ٹیلنٹس کو ڈیولپ کیجیے اور جیسے یہ پینڈیمک ختم ہو جائے گا آپ پلیز جا کر اچھی اچھی نوکریوں کے لیے اپلائی کیجیے ان شاء اللہ ہم سب سکون اور ایک سکون کی زندگی بسر کریں گے جے ہند جے ہند دس از امیزنگ She had a list of 48 different projects that are going on in yeah. Jammu and Kashmir. Um, and this is the stuff we were talking about. You know, my favorite thing is that she was talking about the politicians needed to say where the money was going and that there was mm-hmm. a lot more transparency within the state to, like, Modi, Modi G and all the, um, the bigger, you know, democracy. Yeah. That's the part that probably was missing before. Um, mm-hmm. you know and and that they're closing these shops down and not letting these people that were ha- and now, helping the terrorists yeah and now the government knows exactly what people are selling and what people are doing mm-hmm. which should have been happening before right so the, the they couldn't you know put extra money in their pocket or give money to people to kind of terrorize the city now they have to say we use this money for a bridge this much money for the hospital this much money for the school this much money that's how it should be yeah you need to be accountable for where the money is going and who is in your area yeah she is the majority she is part of the majority and we hear a lot about pakistan and how they're corrupting basically jammu and kashmir people and we've seen it before we've seen mm-hmm. what they can do to people and But we never see really the majority and what's really going on there. We morally see what people want us to see, I guess you could say that. Right. Most of the stuff we've heard about Jammu and Kashmir in the last year, especially since the removal of Article 370, has been locked down. You know, Imran Khan has been talking bloodshed, yeah. um, you know, terrorism, that they have had to have a lot of uh, militants there. and that things are terrible. The news here has portrayed Jim and Kashmir after Article 3 or 70 removal as like horrible. Ilhan Omar went off all on it um, in her speech, you know. And so we've not heard any good things. We know there are a lot of peaceful Muslims out there and we don't hear from them. We only hear about the ones that do stuff like 2611 or 911 Or, you know, these bomb blasts and, and suicide attempts. Yeah. We never hear from the majority. And maybe they're too scared. I don't know what it is, but she is doing an amazing job. We've seen some of her other videos. Um, she talks very confidently. And she knows her stuff. Like, there's going to be bridges and schools and houses. Yeah. Like, amazing, amazing things. So instead of being sucked into the terrorism... And, and into the, all that crap and hatred, get your schooling, get your education. And so you can get some of these amazing jobs that are coming that way. If the terror part of it stops in that region and you don't need such tight militants out there to keep the terrorists, the, the few percent, they're the minorities, but they scare the majority. Yeah. If you get rid of them, or make it more peaceful there, then you're going to have so much 
travel in that region. It's beautiful. You're going to have so many more opportunities, so much more jobs. It's going to be, you know, uh, an up and coming state and you're not going to lose your culture. You're not going to lose anything. Every state has its own specialities. They have their own language, their dresses and their customs are just unique for each state. Jammu and Kashmir is not going to lose that because they're part of India, but they've always been a part of India. But now I feel like because they're getting rid of some of the corruption and they're they're getting it so things are more transparent and more open, things are going to be amazing. But we do need to hear more from people like her. Yeah. Um, my concern for her is she's a young, beautiful woman who's speaking out against terrorism. Um, you know, and we're a young family who got some seeds in the mail. I, Twice. I hope and pray that she has some protection, that she has somebody that's taking good care of her, um, that she has Modi G on her side or something, because I love that she's speaking out, and I would love to hear more from her. I would love to hear more from people like her talking the truth, and her passion for India is above and beyond her religion unreal yeah i mean it's amazing and that's how it should be like everybody like we said each state is unique everybody in india has a unique and special talent you know that's what makes india great but these terrorists just and it and it's only a few of them they make such bad news for the rest of the world to think of them so um, if Yana would like um, a German shepherd to keep her protection, um, give us contact and uh, we'll hook you up with a, a new puppy we could send your way. You'd have to pay for shipping, but we wouldn't charge you for the puppy. Um, and he would be huge. Maxie's 120 pounds, um, huge police dog. Um, yeah. could scare the crap out of a lot of people, but I do hope you are protected. Um, but for all of our subscribers, if you have not heard her messages, they are amazing. Um, and so please go check out her channel and, and subscribe her. to her too. Um, yeah, she needs a lot of support and positive support. Um, because like we said, we're a little bit worried for her safety. Yeah. So... Um, I hope you guys like this enough that you'll go subscribe to her channel as well as our channel. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.